Hi guys and welcome to another video on Minimal Nerd. Today we're going to be uh, doing a different uh, part of the Adobe software um, a test. So first we're going to see uh, Adobe Animate, we're going to see Adobe InDesign, Adobe Character Animator, Adobe Dimension, and finally we're going to finish with Adobe XD. So today is going to be specifically um, you know, aimed at designers and animators to see if the uh, these Adobe uh, you know apps are gonna work fine on this Hackintosh. Okay, let's get to it. Here we are now uh, with the apps. We're gonna first start with Adobe Character Animator. So let's try to open a project here. Okay, we already have this one. So I'm gonna try to play around with this. So let's go to stream. We can try some animations, angry, okay, blinks, open them out, colors. Okay, so seems working fine. If we go back here, then we can try different triggers as you can see here hmm. that's a funny thing <laughs> okay so so far it's working fine um, if we can export this we can use Adobe Media Encoder or we can just export it as a as a as a PNG sequence, which is just a video. If we try it here, save, and you can see the rendering. I mean, this is a simple stuff. We're not actually uh, stress testing this one. We're basically just running the app and see if it's uh, running properly, and then closing it down. Uh, like I said, we're trying to see uh, what people said on Reddit that sometimes Adobe apps don't work well on Hackintosh. So we're trying to prove that it's working fine on this rig. Okay, so we have the PNG sequence for the animation here. Okay, so let's close this down here and let's move on to InDesign. So I'm just going to open a new project, let's uh, take web for example. Let's say I want to add some text here. Okay, so this is a test title. Okay, we're gonna just increase. Like I said, we're basically just doing, bit, you know, um, basic stuff and not actually doing a project here okay add some gradient here it looks really ugly but anyways you get the point we're not trying to do something crazy here okay I don't like this so maybe I can change to different set okay okay and you can see that we're using the GPU uh, if we go to preference and we can check here that the GPU performance um, we have the AMD 5700 XT recognized and we're using it for uh, hardware acceleration okay so that's enough with Adobe InDesign you can export this if you want but it's working fine no worries next let's try Adobe Animate I don't have experience with this one so I'm just gonna try to use some sample files here. Okay, create, let's use this one. Okay, uh, it's more complicated than the others, but seems that this is a good file actually. So we're scrolling, okay, let's play. So we have uh, bacon and eggs. That's a really cool animation on a pig. <laughs> okay. 
so we're zooming out okay as you can see here if we go back in the timeline uh, here you can see the frames so we are at 192 frames at 24 frames per second so if we go back to zero here we go so the first frame that's the beginning of our sequence until more than 200 i guess and you can adjust frame by frame so we're going to try to export this one like i said i'm not trying to do something crazy here we're just basically using the samples okay let's try export movie it's a sequence it's wf test see how long it takes it's already finished okay you can see here the final result so if you want to do uh, animations basically for web or any kind of animation uh, animate is a good tool and i do think it was called adobe flash before if i'm not mistaken so they just changed the name but this is the what used to be flash okay so let's close it down and let's move on to adobe dimensions now i use this one uh, for my work I do um, design, so I'm a graphic designer, and sometimes I do uh, packaging design, and I need Adobe Dimension to uh, showcase my uh, final like label packaging design on a, on the product, and it's a really useful tool. You don't need to use Photoshop or plugins. You can just drag and drop whatever you want, and you know change the material, change the uh, camera angle. So I'll quickly show you here. Sorry, one second. You can change the angle. Okay, let's maximize. You can change the camera view. So we have a cup and a notebook. Uh, you can add anything you want. So you can. It's basically like a 3D space that you uh, create for your modeling projects. It's not like a 3D software per se, like Cinema 4D or Blender. But it is useful for designers who want to showcase their final, you know, design um, in a 3D way. So let's add the back, a gift bag here. Okay, one second. Okay, that's enough. Okay, maybe put it in the background. As you can see, the more we come to the, the foreground, the bigger it becomes. So it's 3D. And you can change the material. It's basically everything is uh, self-explanatory here. Uh, you have uh, different materials here. So first one is the models, as you can see here. Then we go to um, materials and the substance material. So let's say, for example, I want to put um, a matte finish on this cup. It's going to be matte. Let's make the bottle maybe made of glass gelatin I guess is better <laughs> so we have beer water olive oil uh, different kind of materials substance material and here we have like leather let's say this one is made of leather okay you can change the roughness how does it look here You can see that you can bookmark your view here. Okay. So the light in here. So we have direction of light. Uh, we can change the studio lights here. You can see the changing of the lighting direction. And here you can insert the images or the backdrop. So that doesn't look really <laughs> cool. But let's say we're in an office. Okay, you can automatically match the lighting and the image. Okay, let's match. You 
can match the perspective. So it does it for you, because you can see here. So basically on the table. And let's make it look like this. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's enough. Like we're not trying to, you know, finish a project here. We're just uh, testing if the software actually works. Let's maybe put something on the back. Maybe uh, made of fine grain. No. Okay. Chocolate. I guess. And the cup. Okay. Brush finish. Okay. That's it. And then you can export or render this one as a PNG. Test. Everything is a test today. And that's it. So Adobe Dimension is working fine. That's what we're trying to find out. Next, let's move on to Adobe XD. So this one is uh, famous for UI design and UX design. Okay, let's try uh, iPad. So if you want to prototype and create an app for your iPad or iPhone, you can come to XD and, you know, uh, use your design skills to create a UI experience. So I'm just playing around here. Basically, that's not how we do it, but I'm just trying to show you that it's working fine. No worries. Okay. Colors. This is the ugliest design I've ever done, but it that's not what we're trying to do here. Okay. And okay, no need for this one. So basically it's a app experience, so you want to create a design for your app. Okay, you can maximize here and you can prototype. So prototyping means you create the behavior, what happens uh, when you interact with it. So for example, if you go here, you can say tap, drag, and you can make a auto animation. And you can play here. Let's go back to it here. So that's the preview. Okay. And when you click here, that's the um, touch, kind of like a simulation, like you're using on an iPad. And let's close the preview. And that's it. Um, that's enough for what I can show you about Adobe XD. And if you guys have any other uh, apps that you want me to test, I would, I would be really glad to show you. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions about any apps that I need to test, please write them down in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you want to see more content of this same um, you know, quality and the same categories, subscribe. And see you on the next one. Cheers.